Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to an album review. And I decided that I was either going to review one of We Came As Romans albums or their whole discography in remembrance of Kyle Pavone. Uh, so for those who don't know, Kyle Pavone was the clean vocalist for We Came As Romans and he unfortunately passed away very recently and I figured in honor of Kyle I would review one of their albums. So, I am going to be reviewing Tracing Back Roots by We Came As Romans. I'll show you the packaging before I get into the music. So, yeah. Um, what are my initial thoughts on this album? I think it's really good. It's probably my second favorite We Came As Romans album. My first being understanding what we've grown to be. So I got into We Came As Romans around 2015, like I remember it was like only like a few months before the self-titled came out, um, which is still probably their weakest in my opinion, but um, We Came As Romans is a band that I would consider a college band for me because they were the band that I was really heavily into when I was first getting into college. Um, and I remember like, like I say, it was before shortly before the self-title came out and this was the newest album when I got into them. So this album kind of holds a special place for me in some way. I think uh, they're a really good band overall even though they are hardcore and for those who know I really don't listen to a whole lot of hardcore and metalcore type music. And this style of metal just doesn't do it for me anymore for those who are wondering. Um, but I think We Came As Romans is actually one of the better hardcore bands that formed after the early 2000s. So let's get into the album, Tracing Back Roots. It starts off with the title track, Tracing Back Roots. Real aggressive, real heavy, um, with Dave Stevens growling vocals, and towards the end, of course, Kyle Pavone's vocals really shine towards the end. Um, Fade Away um, is a song that I do think is a little overrated, but I think it is a good song on its own. It is more radio friendly and whatnot. I Survive, which is featuring Aaron Gilspy, however you pronounce his name. Um, this one's actually one of my least favorites on the album, but I don't think it's that terrible of a song, but yeah, probably my least favorite. And Ghosts, um, when I first listened to this album, Ghosts was actually my favorite song on this album. I, I love the melody and the instrumentation. I really like the chorus. Kyle really sounds passionate in the chorus, and I really like that little break in uh, the bridge area, I think, that has like that little clean guitar, that part. Always just was a standout to me. But yeah, I, I like Ghosts. It's an eerie sounding song. Um, I think it's a good one. And Present, Future, and Past. Um, this one's probably my favorite song on the album nowadays. Um, this song to me has a lot of great things going for it. It's another hard hitting song. It's real aggressive, real heavy. Um, again, uh, Dave's vocals, his screaming vocals are mostly present throughout the song. Then towards the end is when Kyle's vocals come in. And this song, I think they did it better with this song than in the title track, in my opinion. And for that reason, it's my favorite song on the album. I like the diversity in this track. Next up, we got Never Let Me Go. This one is probably my favorite song out of the more radio-friendly songs on this album. I really like the pacing to the song. I love the energy and how passionate all the all the band members uh, sound with the instrumentation and the vocals. Dave Stevens and Kyle Gavone going back and forth in the vocal delivery. I It's just a, one of those songs that can get you real pumped up. And Hope... I think is a pretty overrated song. I don't, it's not really one of my favorites, but I still think it's fairly good. It is more on the commercial side, um, and it's a pretty inspiring sounding song. Tell Me Now is, used to be one of my favorites, but not so much anymore. A Moment is a super, underrate, a super underrated We Came As Romans song. I like the acoustic version, and I also like the studio version. Uh, this, I, I really like this song. The lyrics are interesting musicianship and everything is uh, well done. And of course, um, I Am Free. Mm, this one 
this one isn't one of my favorites, but it's not one of my least favorites either. It's just kind of in the middle for me. Um, it's one of those songs that just seem kind of more on the bland side. And the, the closing track, the last track, Through the Darkest Dark and the Brightest Bright, not really what I would say is a good album closer, and I would also say that this is one of my least favorites on this album. The instrumentation just doesn't do it for me. I really don't like that electronic thing that they do during one of the sections of this song. It just cr it cringes me so bad, but for the most part, I think this album is pretty darn good. Now, like I said, this style of metal doesn't really do much for me anymore, but I'm trying to really review this album objectively. Um, and like I said, I do think that We Came As Romans is one of the better hardcore uh, bands out there. I do think that this is one of their best, my second favorite behind understanding what we've grown to be. I'm going to have to give Tracing Back Roots an 8 out of 10. Um, I think it's a really good album. There's only a few complaints that I have with it. Some There's some electronic elements here and there that don't really do it for me. Some people might complain that this album does go in a more commercial sound, a more mainstream sound. But um, what this album, I think, does right is they combine heaviness in with melody. Um, it, there's some songs on this album that do sound more mainstream and more commercial, but you also got real, real heavy tracks like the title track and Present, Future, and Past. So overall, guys, I think this is a great album. If you're someone who's looking to get into the band, whether if it's to honor Kyle or you know, of course, to check out their music, to go back and see what these guys have to offer, I would say definitely check out this album, uh, because this is one of their albums where they're at their creative peak. So, yeah, good album. Definitely recommend you pick it up if you're a fan of the band and you don't have it yet. And of course, rest in peace, Kyle Pavone. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think of this album if you've listened to it? Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and take care.